If you're suffering with knee pain or joint instability, then I have some great exercises that will help you. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and today I'm going to take you through five exercises for strengthening the knee joint without the use of any special equipment. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises each week to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. So knee pain can be as a result of arthritis, tendonitis, bursitis, is there any other itis that wants to join in? An injury to a ligament or the meniscus, poor tracking of the kneecap, weak muscles of the hip causing a biomechanical deficiency adding to angle forces on the knee, and many other reasons. However, in most cases, exercising the muscles around the knee, as well as the hip and ankle, will help reduce the pain and improve the stability of the joint. Now, if you're a member of a gym, you may have a leg press, hack squat, leg extension, or leg curl machine that you can use, which are all great, but what if you want to do something at home? Well, I had so many exercises I could have put into this video that I decided to split it into two. This is part one, where I'll show you five exercises you can do at home without the need for any specialist equipment. And in next week's part two video, I'll provide a further five exercises with the use of a resistance band or stability ball in case you wanted to add some variety with the benefit of some training aids. Both videos, however, will offer varying degrees of difficulty, ranging from gentle to intense, so you can pick the ones that work for you. For each exercise, I would recommend doing 10 repetitions and where possible, aim to do it twice with a short rest between each set. Most important of all is to ensure that you don't exercise through pain. If you do get any pain while performing the exercise, then stop straight away. Right, let's go through them. We are starting with an exercise that activates the quads or muscles of the front thigh. To start with, you need to be sat down with your legs straight in front of you. Ideally, this works better if you have a back support that you can push your bottom up against. Firstly, activate the quads by trying to straighten the knee. You can even use a small towel under the back of the knee to help visualize this. Once your leg is locked out straight and you feel some tension in the quads, start to raise the heel of the foot up until you feel greater tension on the front of the thigh. Hold it for a second, then slowly lower the foot back down and start again. While doing this exercise, it's important to keep your bottom pushed back into your support and sit up straight as this will make the muscles work more. Also make sure that the knee doesn't bend until you've finished the 10 reps. The next one involves moving the knee joint through its range of motion. Start seated on a chair and place a cushion underneath the leg that you want to work to raise it slightly so the foot is being lifted from the ground. As with the last exercise, make sure you're sat in a good posture and then begin to straighten your leg, pulling your foot and toes back towards you. Hold it for a second and then slowly return to the start position and repeat. You can also do this lying down with your knee over the edge of an armchair or wear a heavy boot on your foot to add to the resistance. The bridge exercise activates the glute muscles around the hip as well as the quads and hamstrings around the knee. Start in a line position with your feet a hip distance wide flat on the floor with your knees bent. Keeping the shoulders and head relaxed, push through the feet to raise your hips up to aim to get your hips directly between your knees and your shoulders. Hold for a second and then slowly return back down before starting again. Make sure you don't let the knees come in or splay out while raising and lowering the hips. And if you want to make this harder, you can try doing the same thing but just on one leg. Wall sits are horrible, but they are good for isometrically activating many of the muscles around the knee. To do this one, start with your back flat against the wall and your feet about one or two feet away from the wall. Making sure that you keep your shoulders and tailbone against the wall, slide your body down until your hips are level with your knees, making a right angle at the knee joint. For this exercise, you hold that position for as long as you can, ideally 30 to 60 seconds, before repeating a second time if you wish. It's important that you breathe while holding the position and be careful if you have high blood pressure with this one as isometric exercises increase it. So you may prefer to hold it for 10 seconds but then do a few reps of them to make it a little bit more dynamic. The last exercise, which is probably the hardest, is the Bulgarian split squat. This is basically a split squat or a lunge on the spot 
but with the back foot placed higher than the front foot. To do this, you will need a step or a chair at home to place your back foot on. If balance is an issue, make sure that you're near something that you can hold on to. Make sure the toes of the front foot point forwards and you still maintain a width for your stance. This means that you don't have one foot directly in front of the other. Once you're set up, think about dropping the hips straight down towards the floor without the back knee quite touching and then push through the feet to return back to the top. If you do this correctly, then by the time you get to 10 reps, the front thigh muscles of the front leg will be on fire. Make sure you keep your torso upright while performing this exercise and slow it down for added difficulty. Aim to do these exercises three times a week and after about four to six weeks, you should feel some change to the stability of your knee. I hope you can take something away from this video today. If so, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below and share this video with friends to help this channel grow so more people can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay active, keep moving and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.